Today I'm going to talk about non-probability sampling. Um, this is my robot friend. I'm very glad to invite him to be my partner. Hi, I'm R2D2. Non-probability sampling is also called non-random sampling and convenience sampling. There are five types of non-probability sampling. Hypothetical sampling, quota sampling, snowball sampling, proposal sampling, and sequential sampling. First, I want to talk about hypothetical sampling. Do you know what is hypothetical sampling? No. Hypothetical sampling is the researcher can get any case in any manner that is that is convenient. Uh, for example, like the television interviewer, they take microphone and and the camera go to the street and they ask people question um, who walk by the the camera and then this is a half of that sampling uh, because it uh, may have an entertainment value but it can give distract view so we not in, uh, uh, and we not uh, recommend it in use in research why half of that sampling is not recommend use in research because uh, this uh, this kind of sampling can produce ineffective and high highly unrepresentative sample, so we not recommend it use in research. Um, then I'm going to talk about quota sampling. This is a quota sampling. Uh, quota sampling is uh, first uh, identify the relevant of categories of people uh, like male, female, or age, then decide how many to get in category. Like uh, the people who have 60 people walk on the street, and the, the, the interviewer wants to uh, get the 12 people uh, for the sample. So he gets uh, uh, 5 adult female, 5 adult male, and uh, one female child and one male child. There are four categories like adult uh, uh, child and uh, female and male. There are four categories. That is quota sampling. Then I will talk about snowball sampling. Is snowball sampling is about snowball? Uh, actually, snowball sampling is not uh, about snowball. It's like a network. Uh, like the people who uh, uh, typical it began with a one of a few people or case and is separate out uh, on the basis of link to the initial case. Like this, uh, if uh, I want to do a research about how many Chinese students uh, uh, in this uh, summer take the 2030 sociology 2030 and I, in, I know a people and I invite interviewed him uh, it, who is in the 2030 course and and he introduced another people and and the, the people introduced two or more people so I got more and more case uh, I got more and more case so this is snowball sampling and at last I want to talk about potassium and sequential sampling I'm very confused potassium sampling and the sequential sampling I think they are saying, what is the difference between these two? They are similar, but they are not the uh, same. Uh, they have a little bit different. Proposive sampling is the researcher find as many relevant cases as possible and use the time financial resource or the he or she, uh, his energy is exhausted. That's a proposive sampling. And uh, a sequential sampling is the teacher can, the researcher can continue to gather case until the amount of information or diversity of case is filled. Like there's no uh, new information or case. So that's a sequential sampling. This is all of five types of sampling, non probability sampling. Um, that's all. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a great summer vacation. Yeah.